A memorial tree almost five years in the making has been unveiled in Whittlesea to remember those who died in the Black Saturday fires. While it was an emotional day for the families of victims, they say the tree is another step toward helping fire affected communities heal. Michael Scanlon has the details. During the Black Saturday fires, the Whittlesea showground was a place of refuge for thousands of victims. Today, it was again full of people. But this time, flames hadn't forced them to gather. Instead, they came to see the unveiling of a memorial tree made from iron, a gift to fire-affected communities that have had so much taken away. I think the, the best thing about this project is the sense of community and the support and the friendships it has evoked in people. And those sort of things are so important in communities that are still suffering and still recovering. Each leaf has been carefully crafted, on each one a message of hope or a victim's name. For Rhonda, it was overwhelming. I lost my brother and my sister-in-law and my nephew. Her leaves were made in Sweden. Her nephew was there when his parents were killed in the fire. I was able to stamp my brother's name um, with the help of the blacksmith into one of those leaves and I just cried and cried doing that. Construction of the tree started just a month after Black Saturday. It was initially going to be a smaller shrub of around 200 leaves, but over time support from the community grew and so did the size of the tree. There are now more than 3,000 leaves. Amanda Gibson was the project's driving force. There's a lot of sadness in this, in this project. We're very mindful throughout the entire project of why we are here, um, but there's also a great joy in the creation of, of this beautiful object. She had help from blacksmiths all over the world and locally. CFA volunteer Cliff Overton, who fought the Black Saturday fires, was one of them. This tree represents every Victorian's feelings about the fires and a lot of feelings from uh, expats who live overseas who couldn't be here but wanted to express their feelings. The tree's final resting place will be in Strathewan, but before it was moved, a fitting finishing touch. Michael Scanlon, 7 News.